How's it going, Huppeteers? It's Vinny here from the Elite Gaming Series, coming at you with a different kind of video today. So I normally put up tip videos, but what I decided to do today, considering Die Rise comes out tomorrow, which is a pretty big deal for my channel, I think, uh, I'm going to do a breakdown for you guys today. And that breakdown is going to consist of things I've seen in other breakdowns, things I've picked up on, and just those little minuscule things you might not even notice. So uh, what I'm going to do for you right now is I'm going to play the Zombies portion of the reveal trailer in its entirety. And um, if you don't want to see that, just click the number of seconds that's on screen right now. And uh, you'll be at the part of the video where it's after the trailer and I can finally start my breakdown. Dyrus takes place in the Far East in a series of crumbling skyscrapers. And what's cool about it is that for the first time we're introducing the element of verticality. We're combining open areas of gameplay as well as very narrow and dark corridors. And it's very much like a maze. You not only will get lost, there's so many dangerous places like uh, you know elevator shafts that are open. If you don't pay attention, just fall into the chasm. We've created this environment that is very surreal in nature. In certain parts, players may not be able to tell which side is up and which side is down. It's kind of like an MC Escher style puzzle. Alright everybody, you just finished watching the trailer for the new Zombies map. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start playing it over in its entirety, but I'm going to stop at certain points to just highlight uh, little things that I've noticed that other YouTubers have noticed, and uh, just give you guys a good uh, idea of what you might see tomorrow. So uh, we're going to get into that right now. Now in this picture we've been looking at in the entire trailer so far, uh, you can see right here that this zombie in the middle is wearing United States camo. So I'm going to assume this is a US military soldier. Now that's going to bring up a little suspicion for me later in the video, and I will uh, point that out when we get there. Dyrus takes place in the Far East in a series of crumbling skyscrapers. And what's cool about it is... Alright, so you guys just heard him say it. it's going to take place in the Far East, Asia, China. This is uh, skyscrapers in China right now. Now that's why my suspicion with the U.S. guy. You would expect Chinese zombies. And uh, to see a U.S. Army guy in there, I believe it's U.S. Army, and that's what I'm going with right now. But seeing Army guy in there, it's a little, um, a little interesting to me. I don't get why he's there. I don't get the point of why he's there. Maybe we'll find out during the map. There could be some special reason. Now the other thing I wanted to point out right here is the fact that uh, these are two skyscrapers. So this is taking place over a couple skyscrapers. Uh, from what we can guess right now. Is that for the first time we're introducing the element of vertical. So as you can see right now, we're looking down this elevator shaft. Now the thing that really caught my eye here is that this guy has a ton of points if you haven't noticed. Now, why does he have a ton of points he's on round one? There is one explanation in my opinion for that. The bank system is back. And apparently it's accessible by round one, which is nice for a lot of people. So maybe you can store your points, get them right at the start, and get booted up uh, close to immediately if you really want to. Uh, but that's my ideas. Now the second thing I wanted to talk about this was that you're looking down this shaft. This is a bottomless pit. This reminds me of that um, uh, the area by Tombstone in Transit where if you fall, you die. Now... Uh, I think this is going to be interesting because if you can't tell, we're in skyscrapers already. And this is taking a huge step as in we've never had a zombies map that's been so vertically inclined. And that's going to play a big part. I like how the devs are taking new steps and creating new ideas and new mechanics for the zombies game. Cality. We're combining... So if you guys can't see what's in between the building right there, that's a meteor. I believe it's the same meteor that dropped the perks from the mushroom cloud in Nuketown. Now I don't know if there's a big bomb that went off in China and that's why the meteors are dropping. I have no idea because obviously these things aren't dropping on transit, which means they don't drop everywhere. I have a feeling there's a link between this map and Nuketown as to why the meteors are dropping. Okay, so we know that the uh, meteors drop perks in Nuketown. I don't think they're dropping perks in this map and I'll tell you more on my theory about that later. But um, I'd be surprised if Treyarch only added the meteors in for cosmetic reasons. Open areas of gameplay as well as... Alright, so I thought this was a small thing, but it was worth pointing out. As you can see right here, the zombie eyes are still blue. Richtoff and still has control over them, and nothing has changed there. Very narrow, dark corridors. And it's very much like a maze. You not only will get... Alright, so I thought there were two things worth mentioning in this picture right here. One, as you can tell from here and from the couple clips before, you're playing as the cast from Transit, the new Black Ops 2 cast. You're not getting introduced to anyone else. Uh, it's these guys. It might be a little minuscule thing, but I'd like to know that I'm still playing with who I played with in the last map and advance the main story. 
The second thing I wanted to point out though, is on the right side of your screen, that's the power switch. Now I'm going to tell you something else about where I think that power switch is uh, in a second. So let's uh, go back into the video and I'll see you guys in two seconds. Lost. That was fast, huh? So um, here's the thing. If you can't see in the back there, those are sewing machines. I have a good feeling that where we are right now is a sweatshop. Sweatshops are more than likely at the bottom of a building in like a basement or something or an unknown compartment where not too many people know about. Now, this worries me because if you go back uh, back into the video where I mentioned the guy having uh, so many points on round one, if you look down the elevator shaft, he did not look like he was anywhere near a basement. And that worries me because I don't know if it's going to take a while to get to the bottom of the uh, skyscraper. So what's going to happen is that it's going to take a little bit longer to turn on the power, uh, kind of like transit. So don't expect perks to be an immediate thing in this map. But also, there are so many dangerous places like, uh, you know, elevator shafts that are open. If you don't pay attention, just fall into the chasm. We've created this environment that is very surreal in nature. In certain parts, players may not be... Alright, so these two rooms are the reason why I'm not uh, too worried about me not being able to train. Anyways, uh, back to why I stopped this clip. The environment here is very different from most zombies map. We have inclines and we have a whole bunch of rubble and little small hills you can go up and over, uh, which is going to be interesting for the trainers because uh, you're going to run into stuff a lot more often. Now, the other thing I noticed about these two rooms was that I did not personally see any boardable windows. So I'm curious how the zombies are going to get in here because if we're in the air right now in a skyscraper, zombies aren't going to be coming through uh, the outside windows and they're not going to be coming up from the ground or the ceiling, as far as I know, because uh, you got you don't have a lot of room between them, between floors. So um, I'm wondering how the zombies are going to come in on this map. I thought it was just something to think about, not too much of a tip or anything like that, but uh, yeah, just something to uh, to ponder for a while. Able to tell which side is up and which side is down. It's kind of like an M.C. Escher style puzzle. All right, so that was just about everything I picked apart from the reveal. Now, the next thing I'm going to look at is the Replacer trailer. It didn't have too much uh, non-live action stuff in it, not too much zombie stuff, but it did have something. So I'm going to show you all these clips real quick, really fast, and then we'll break them down just like we did with the other uh, trailer before. Now it's just... Yeah, really quick. Anyways, I thought these two clips here were notable to uh, point out, so here's why. Now it's just... Now in both those clips, this zombie that's uh, kind of on the center of the screen here has this blue thing on his chest, and I have no idea what that is. The other thing is, now that I'm looking at it, this zombie could be either American or it could be Chinese. I have no idea, but there are military zombies in uh, Die Rise, so I thought that was interesting. We'll see if it plays into the story a little bit. Alright, so I'm at a struggle for words right now. This speed coal is going straight up the elevator, just passing everybody. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to get it here or if it's going to stop at certain floors at certain times or what, but this is the reason why I don't think the meteors I talked about in the beginning are going to be dropping perks if they're doing anything. Because I think these perks are in here, and once the power is turned on, I think they're going to be going up and down the elevators. But that's just a rough guess. We'll know tomorrow, I guess. And, um, yeah, but also, the buttons on the side panel interest me. I'm wondering if that's how you can possibly call an elevator to your location, and that elevator shaft on every floor is going to be where that perk will be if you call it. But I don't know. I think that'd be a cool mechanic. It definitely shows how the vertical uh, skyscrapers play into this map. And, uh, I don't know. This might be different. This might be pretty cool. I'm stoked for it right now. Then you goofed and put a multiplayer clip in there. No, I did not goof. Look at the text on the screen there. It says a bonus multiplayer weapon. I don't know if that's just because it was that's how they're advertising it or not, but calling it a bonus multiplayer weapon instead of just a bonus weapon kind of scares me that we just might not see the Peacekeeper in Zombies, at least not yet. So um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. It's just a theory. I'm sure they'll put it in there, but... I don't know if they did this on purpose or not. It kind of got me questioning. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. All right, so I was done with this video, and then I saw this picture, and I realized I had to share this with you. Just another theory. So um, I don't think you guys get what I'm saying right now. It's just an ordinary zombie. Let's zoom into what's hanging around his neck, and then you will see what I'm talking about. All right, so you're probably wondering why I brought you in this close. So behind his tie, you can see what looks like a card, maybe a key card. Uh, it's hanging on the lanyard behind his tie, and... Uh, 
honestly, it could be nothing, but I thought this was worth mentioning. It could be a key card, it could be an ID, or it could be a nav card. Now, if you don't know what the nav card is, it is that thing in your pocket on multiplayer in transit where um you're not you're uh no one knows what to do with it yet. I think this could possibly be a nav card and hopefully we will know the real reason of why the nav card exists in transit maybe while this map is out. Maybe it'll reveal that part of the Easter egg. And I think that is something huge because I've been wondering what that thing does from day one. Uh but yeah. I don't know. It could be nothing. It could be everything. We'll find out later. Alright guys, I'm about to throw a lot of information at you. I'm going to try and get it out as quickly as possible. So this is a webpage on CallDuty.com. This is kind of just like the bio for Durais they have for the new map pack. Now I'm going to read this verbatim to you, and as I'm going through it, I'm just going to tell you what uh, kind of stood out to me. Overcome a zombie infestation inside a series of collapsed skyscrapers towering over the remains of an obliterated Chinese city. We knew it was in China. In this new and original zombies map, players will wield powerful, upgradable wonder weaponry. Now, by them mentioning that, I really think they're going to have a new wonder weapon. I was disappointed when they didn't have one in transit, but they put in the whole buildable thing, which is actually what I'm getting to next as well as combine new buildable devices. So there's something new with that too. They're keeping that mechanic, they're not keeping it with trans, not just uh, secluding it to transit, which I think is pretty cool. To fight a relentless army of the undead through Escher-esque sceneries over a deep and perilous chasm. So, over a chasm, I don't know if they're talking about the skyscraper or if there's something outside, if we can go outside and there's some big hole in the ground or a fissure or anything like that. I don't know, but I just saw this online. I thought it kind of opened my eyes, especially about the build tools on the wonder weapons. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all that paragraph has to say. You can pause the video and read it yourself if you really want to. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. If you have, I really hope you learned something. I'm stoked for this map. Remember guys, it comes out tomorrow. So uh, get on that if you really want to play. Leave down below if you have any other theories on anything with this map. Thanks a lot for watching. If I really did keep you around, perhaps I earn a sub on my regular channel. You can see it right now. Elite Gaming Series is my channel. Go check it out in the description. Thanks for sticking around again, guys. I will see you guys in my next video.